What's up, folks? We're back. It's the spawn, and it is on. But I'll tell you, today is different. We've got actually 35 degree weather temperatures in the morning. But one thing that's definitely remained the same, the water temperature is 60 degrees. Outside temperatures, you know, 35, 34 right now. That water temperature is still gonna stay the same, roughly. And so I anticipate we're gonna catch some fish. Sometimes this cold weather might make them move out just a little bit, but at the end of the day, we are in the middle of the spawn. And we, I don't think this is gonna change it, but I'll tell you what we're gonna do today. We are gonna fish areas of the lake that we've never fished before during the spawn. Now, during the spawn is a, it's a fun time. There's a lot of boats out there and the regular areas get a lot of traffic. Let's, let's admit it, right off the main wreck area, they get a lot of traffic. So we're gonna try to dig deep, go, go to a part of the lake that we don't really know at all and uh, see if we can find some crappie there. That's gonna be the goal today is new locations for spawning crappie. That's what we're gonna be watching today. Big fish, gonna go in the boat. Do me a favor, subscribe. It's about to go down and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, first fish of the day. Not a big one, but it's a good start. I'll tell you, it's interesting fishing a new area you never have fished before for the spawn. It's a lot of fun learning it. So you get to mark new marks on your, your graphs. And uh, I think we found some right here. Nice little start. So all I'm doing is you catch one or two, then you just move on. Or if you see more fish, you keep fishing it, obviously. But at the end of the day, crappie fishing, especially during the spawn, is a, is a game of moving. You just move, 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 move until you find that pocket, that hot pocket of fish that you're looking for. So what's interesting about a power plant lake is that when you do move to different sections, it definitely, at least in my opinion, behaves differently. So you have to look at it as like almost a brand new type of lake that you're going to for the very first time, even though we're on my home lake. So on this particular day, I start off shallow, then I start to move out onto structure. And I can tell you that in this particular part of the lake, uh, the spawn definitely was reacting differently. They weren't on the weed edge. And I identified this after my typical hour and hour and a half of fishing. So I started to move out the structure as you'll see later in the video but we did manage to catch some on the weed edge, just certainly not as many um, at other parts of the lake. There's a good fish. That's a fish. that fish folks man early morning nice and brisk gonna get up to 65 degrees let's talk about the water temperature back here we're in a far back corner of the lake and we're looking at 60 degrees right now outside temperature like we said earlier is roughly around 34 35 so it is cold out today got the bibs on and we're in uh, late late April so Now when I catch a fish like that, that's a good solid 12 inch fish right there, fatty. Um, I'll cast around that spot a little bit longer to see if there's more. Now I did see some activity off this tree here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna cast in there a few more times, see what happens. So one of the things I get asked a lot during the guide trips is how do you tie your minnow or hook your minnow? And there's a lot of different ways. People do it through the top of the shoulder. Some people go through the tail. Let me show you how I do them. Uh, this is, these are toughy minnows. And basically all I do is I take the hook, I go under the chin, and then right back through the nose. And I try not to pierce the brain of the minnow. Prefer, there's no right or wrong way to doing it. Everybody has their different way and what, how they believe. I just believe that's the best way. I get that crunch, and that keeps that minnow on that hook a lot longer. There's one. Oh, that's a 
good fish. Look at that. So they are outside of those spawning areas. It has been determined. They are not on the weed edge. Caught two on the weed edge, all of a sudden you start looking outside and bam, that's a good solid 12 inch fish. So I think what's happened is that the cold front has kind of pushed these fish back away from the weed edge at this point. Um, you know, we had a drastic 30 degree temperature drop from day to day and it was really tough across the lake. I had talked to several other anglers and they were experiencing the same thing. No bite on the weed edge whatsoever. Boy, but if you move just outside the spawning areas, bam, you'd get another fish. I'm liking that right now. Let me show you what I'm fishing with. 130 second ounce slasher head. A really cut down, uh, I believe this is a green apple or color from Jinko fishing, but it's cut down in half, so really small presentation, all under a number seven split shot right there. Number six, high vis line. Just letting it hang off the side, you get another fish. Dead sticking it like crazy. Put that aside. We're gonna go back to a jig with a yellow head. That seems to have worked earlier. We're gonna see if that changes anything. All right, folks, that's going to call it. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe. Another great day on the water. Checking out new parts of the lake, trying it uh, different parts of the lake during the spawn. Uh, I'll tell you what, maybe not the best day to try it on based on the weather change, but I can tell you right now, outside of these coves on the structure is probably the key. Have a good one. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies. These are aggressive fish right now. That's a good fish right there. Letting them go though. Again, check out three pound fishing guide service. Post spawn bite is incredible. Check it out. Three pound fishing at gmail.com. Be free.